I'm Jeff Alban, the big game hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ. Com, and you're watching Job Search Radio, the new Job Search Radio done as video as opposed to audio. And I received a question from someone that I really liked. The question is, what else do recruiters slash interviewers look out for when deciding between two remaining people who are equally good at delivering on the job? I love this question. Let me tell you why. There's some subtleties in the question that I think are fascinating. And it starts off with no two people are qualified or equally qualified, I should say. They may meet some basic criteria, but they don't really, they're not identical. In addition, the question implies that recruiters and interviewers make the decision. Hiring managers make the decision, not recruiters, definitely not recruiters. Interviewers, they could be staff level. Hiring managers, they make choices. So what does a hiring manager do to decide between two very good options? I'm not going to say they're identical. Two very good options. So among the things that they look at are, is the candidate willing to accept their offer when made? Will they accept the offer when made at the price that they want to offer it at? How will that person interact with them as a manager? Will this person help them look good? Is there a reason to worry about them? Are there tiebreaker skills? Um, you know, how are their oral communications? How are their written communications? You know, and, and written communications can be expressed through like emails, you know, you know, people send emails in the course of the search. There's, there's information there that's shared that demonstrates whether or not they express themselves clearly. And for some jobs, that's going to be important. Also, what will their colleagues think of this person when they come on board? What does the staff think? There are millions of different things. Well, let me not exaggerate. There are definitely hundreds of different things that people look out for when making this decision between different alternatives. And that's going to include what their wife, husband, or partner think. Because in the course of talking through the problem with them, they may have a suggestion for how to evaluate that we can't even consider right now. So those are a couple of things that go into it. Hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, I hope you give it five stars in iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you watch or listen to the show. It's going to help other people discover it. That includes YouTube because this is going to wind up on YouTube as well. And if you're interested in my helping you with your job search, let me just explain how I can. And first of all, I want to be clear. I no longer do recruiting, so I'm not here to place you in a job or, or help you in that way. Recruiters do that. I don't do that anymore. I now coach people into new roles. So I can critique your resume and LinkedIn profile because, frankly, most of them stink. Then from there, I can prepare you for interviews, answer your questions all the way through the cycle, help you with negotiations, help you with quitting. You know, prepare you for the interview. Again, most of you don't interview particularly well. And after all, the skills needed to find the job are different than those needed to do a job. So if you're interested in my coaching, you visit my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. There are tabs along the top that will explain how to hire me. In addition, you know, I'll simply say, ask me questions. You know, I'll respond to, to questions on the show. I can't answer all of them because I'm getting a lot. If you're interested in my doing that, JobSearchRadio at gmail.com will forward them to me. I'll pick individual ones to do a show about. Not long stories. I don't want to read this multi-page thing that tells me about your life problems. That has to go through coaching. An individual question about a situation, just like on this one. Hope you enjoyed today's show and hope you have a great day. Take care.